I started working for EBMT uh, after I started working in Utrecht in, at the BMT uh, unit and uh, that was based on my experience in Munich where I was in contact with BMT at the beginning of the B BMT development. I served with Professor Hans Kolb and uh, that was actually the basis for me to be involved in EBMT and to improve patient care. The way I was actually uh, going to be the president of the EBMT when I took over the role of Carol Charlie as I, a previous president of the EBMT nurses group. In the first years it was pretty difficult because we were in a different location uh, compared to the medical congress and uh, but still we, we all saw that um, the uh, nurses play an important role in uh, taking care of the patients. One of the things that, that we needed to improve was to do more research-based presentations. When I look back uh, to look at uh, the 40 years of the nurses group uh, within EBMT, we had to work with very limited uh, technical equipment and that helped our, us as a group in learning how to actually present using slides, using all the technical equipment in providing uh, and sharing the knowledge with the nurses and later on also in combined symposium, symposium with the doctors. Well, if, if I look at the beginning and my role, my role and uh, my goals were to have better collaboration between the nurses and the doctors in improving patient care. And there were a lot of uh, specific topics that uh, were important for the care of the BMT patients. And this care, we worked on improving our research outcomes. So what we did is uh, first look at how do we actually prepare the drugs for the patients. And uh, in the beginning, we had to do it on a sink. Later on, we had a laminar airflow. And uh, taking care of the patients, there was also the isolation rules and the decontamination of the patients that were very important issues to discuss with the nurses that were involved in care for BMT patients. One of the things that we uh, accomplished, maybe under my uh, supervision, is that uh, we were able to uh, be part of the whole EBMT group as a nurses group together with the doctors and to uh, improve patient care as a whole. What we have seen over the, the uh, last many years of uh, improving patient care for uh, uh, BMT patients is that, um, uh, for instance, research is now on itself for the nurses group. I think for the future, looking at this moment, we see that more patients are able to survive on the, uh, for many years. Uh, particularly if we look at um, the children, we see that more than 80% is surviving a leukemia uh, treatment and uh, we, we still see improvement. And over the years, we also see a change in isolation policies and, and a change in, uh, based on research and research outcomes. Also for care aspects and not only for the medical aspects that we uh, saw in the beginning. The Nobel Prize winner Don Thomas, who was one of the early uh, developers on hematology, and he uh, mentioned, and I quote, the nurses are the secret weapon in uh, EBMT, because without the nurses, we cannot uh, accomplish our goals within EBMT. Well, if I look at uh, EBMT at the moment, and uh, EBMT is a, a huge organization uh, starting with just a few people that took the initiative to come together and discuss uh, uh, patient care and treatment. And I think uh, for the future, and uh, if I look at nurses, then the nurses should uh, do more research and be involved, uh, particularly in the care aspects for the nurses, I would say, take your responsibility and take 
up research and further development on education and uh, better care for hematology patients.